Hi, today I'm going to do an offset pendant and I'm going to use a piece of that spalted beach and put a little paint chip inlay in it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I did was I just took a waste block, found center on it, and I took out two of the jaws of my chuck here so that I can just put this in there and then we can move it back and forth as, uh, as we turn the pendant to adjust the center position on it. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this in here and cut a recess in here so that we can use this as a jam chuck and push the pendant in. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm just going to cut my recess in there and I turn the lathe speed down. It's like a little propeller so you don't want to turn it up too fast and then we're going to cut the recess for that. And I'm just going to come in with a parting tool and, and get the, the size down. Okay, and then before you put your piece in there, you need to drill a hole down through the center of it so that um, you can uh, slide the bar through there and get it back out after you're done. So I'm just going to drill one in real quick. There we go. So that your knockout bar here will slide through and pop it out when you're done. Okay, got it opened up. So I'm just going to tap it in there. And then we can go ahead and true it up and then move it over and put a hole in the top of it for the necklace to go through. I'm just going to turn the lay speed up a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Let the wobble a little bit. Right there. And I just want to want to clean it up. And this is just a spindle gouge. And I'm gonna, this is going to be the back, so I want to recess it just, just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to sand that up and then move it over and put the hole like up here in, in the top, wherever it, wherever it lands. But I'm going to sand it real quick and then do that. I'm going to turn lace speed back down. No one's... Ah, tape measure. And somebody wanted me to start uh, mentioning and didn't mention. So this is uh, two and a half inches is what it's starting out as. And we will... See what it ends up at. And just, uh, just be careful on something like this. There. It's not not true, so. It cuts you pretty bad. All right, I'm just finishing up with the 600 for the back here. We're actually going to re-sand it again here in a second too, so 
after we do the hole. But here we go. Okay. Now, before I take it off, I'm going to mark where where center is. So when we we're going to move it and then turn it around and, and move it a couple more times, but I w always wanted to know where where the center is on it. So I need a pencil. All right. So this is going to be our center mark. And then we're actually going to, when we move it over to do the hole, we're going to mark it again so that when we flip it around, we can find find center on, on the hole part. So we can come in from the other side too. So we'll do that in a second though. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and slide it over and put another hole in wherever it lands, I guess. All right, I'm not sure. Okay, so what I did is I, I just, uh, here was center on it. And I moved it over and remarked it on the other side. We're there, now I need to make sure that that one's for center. So I don't forget. Okay, and then I just held my pencil up there and put a little line to where, where the hole's gonna be until I got it, got it to where I wanted it. And then I'll just come in. The center's gonna be right there where it pops through, but I'm gonna come out here a little bit and come in. So, And I'm just gonna use a spindle gouge to do that. And there you can see your see your line. And it's not going to go all the way through it to uh, thicker than than I wanted it. And the hole's not going to go all the way through. That's when you come through the other side and, and pop it through. I'm just going to go in, go in deep here, and then come through the other side. There we go. And then I'll resand. I'll resand that little spot there. And uh, then we'll come through the other side and, and uh, there'll be a hole there. All right, so you can see the little dimple right there. I'm gonna drill a very small hole through the center of that so that I know when I turn it around and for the other mark right where it is. All right. Okay. So now we can pop it out and turn it around. Okay, I have it all turned around there and popped it back in. I had to adjust the hole a little bit because I came around the lip, so I had to make it smaller. But I'm just gonna take the bowl gouge here and shape this side of it, and uh, then we'll move it back and forth. Okay, so right there is where the, the hole came through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up and bring it down a little bit more and then we'll uh, move, the, move it off center again. I'm gonna go ahead and sand it up and move it over. All right, when I drilled that little hole through there, I drilled into the waste block just a little bit so you can line it back up. And I put a couple little tacks of uh, uh, hot glue around there to, to uh, it was just a little bit loose and I didn't want it coming out. And it'll be easy to just scrape off. I'll just go ahead and bring the speed back up.
right, now I'm going to sand that up. And then I'm going to do another one down here, straight across from it. And I'm going to insert that little uh, paint chip in it. I'm going to, I'm going to sand this up first. Okay, so you can see it opens it up a little bit by, by sanding it because it's pretty thin back there. And I left it a little bit thick because I'm going to flop it around now and try and get that the other one centered right underneath it. And I'm going to leave a little little nub in there. And then I made, this is what I made, a little ring of paint. So I want, want the wood to come through the center of it a little bit. And then it'll sit right in there just like that. So let's try and get that as close to as possible. Okay, and then on this one, what I want to do is I want to leave the, the center in it. So, and then I'll just check with my ring to see where it's close. Got a ways to go. Take off. Okay, that's getting getting real close. There we go. Then the paint chip will fit right in there. And I'm just gonna uh, use CA glue to glue that in. So I'm gonna dry sand up this, just this area right here and then glue it on. So, but it's gonna go in there just like that. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. Then the back is, is cupped out there. And then, then you can hang, you know, put your, uh, clasp there for necklace. I think next time I'll just use a solid piece. It was kind of hard to get get the little button to pop through and get it lined up right. It doesn't, uh, I think it's gonna hang a little bit off to the side, but um, there we go. All right, I would have done a couple little things differently. I would have used a solid piece of paint chip. It would have made it a lot easier, but that's just a quick way if you don't have an off-center jig to uh, do some off-center turning on, uh, you know, something small like that. But thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.